Hi everyone and welcome back to News BTC TV for today's daily news update. Well, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's very first live streaming video and we will do another one later on today. But first, let's take a look at Kazakhstan as it hopes to launch its very own fiat-backed digital currency. Now, Astana International Financial Center and Exante Investment Company have agreed on the development and promotion of the crypto assets market in the country. Now, according to the Memorandum of Understanding, Exante will use its experience with successful blockchain projects to help the AIFC to develop the cryptocurrency market and support the evolution of the fintech ecosystem. The governor of the Astana International Finance Centre said that blockchain and cryptocurrencies are entering the mainstream of today's economic reality. And an article in Russia Today confirmed that Vladimir Putin gave the go-ahead for a national cryptocurrency. Now, the crypto ruble will be issued by the state, controlled by the state and, of course, enables to provide circulation of digital money in light of the digital economy. The Minister for Communication said, I am so confident to declare that we will run crypto ruble just for one simple reason. If we don't, our neighbours in the Eurasian economic community will do it in a couple of months. He added that when buying and selling a crypto ruble, the rate will be 13% from the earned difference. If the owner cannot explain the reason for the appearance of his crypto rubles, when converting them into Russian rubles, the tax for him will be 13% of the total. And also hitting headlines today is Russia's spare bank, as it became a member of the non-commercial enterprise Ethereum Alliance. It is the very first Russian bank to join this alliance. Now let's take a very quick look at some of the top performing cryptocurrencies. Now NEO is the only one in the top 10 that experienced gains over the past 24 hours. Bitcoin fell more than 7%, and Ethereum more than 8%. Well, thanks for watching, and we will be back later with a live streaming video to bring you the latest updates. Goodbye for now.